Hello everybody, it is me, Minara. I'm sorry. Headless I hope, Minara. I hope, yeah, I have a few people. <laughs> and Amy. No, Amy's Hi. here too, she's the one filming this. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know how many of you guys know about slime, but this is what we're here for today. This is all different kinds of slime. Which she made me get. Which I made her get because I... I had no idea existed. <laughs> I personally actually really like slime. I've never been the type of person who like loves like every like fad on the internet. I, but um, slime is, in my opinion, People have different opinions. It's either really satisfying or really gross. I believe it was like a year ago that slime was really po started getting popular because I started seeing it, videos of it uploaded all over Instagram. And at first I was really confused. I'm like, why are people uploading videos of them poking slime? And then I slowly started to realize that it was like a, kind of, I guess like not really ASMR, but more like a satisfying thing to watch. And, wait, wait, wait. The first time she told me, Mom, I want some slime, I'm like, butter was, slime. Yeah, she was just like, what? What in the heck? Maybe had, maybe has no idea what slime so is. So she had one word for me, Instagram. Instagram. If you want to <laughs> look at slime videos, all you have to do is go to Instagram and go to the slime hashtag. Just yeah. type in slime or like, even on YouTube, you can just type in like slime videos. And for uh, the slime we got from on Etsy, oh my gosh, there are so There's, many Etsy slime shops. Etsy is like... Probably the biggest place I think to buy slime you could ever anything you want almost and um, some, we, some people have personal shops but Etsy yeah Etsy has like it's everything. a great place and we looked through so many places to find yes. ones that we thought were like the coolest and this is the result variety of that. and these people a lot of them maybe even all of them there's three different people right Minara that we've got from yeah three different people. um they have their own Instagram slime pages yes, so you can check which yours I will out tell you guys yeah about. when when we get to it but the point is that she says videos. look up Instagram look up slime and I did yeah. and I was like. Okay, I think I'm one of those people who don't really initially like the sounds it makes. Maybe the crunchy one. I like one. the sounds that the butter slime makes. I've never had slime in my life. Have it's you? It's so satisfying. I, ha I have tried like this. making my own, kind of. But you haven't had anything like this. But I haven't this. had like official slime before. I mean, all slime yeah. is homemade, but I have never had real slime And this before. is our first time trying out the slime. This is a big thing, you know. Yes. Like you said, whether you like it or you don't like it, we're going to try it out right now. To see what I'm all this, this stuff so is, long. and she's super excited because um, she really wants slime, and I don't really know if I'm gonna like slime. Yeah, basically the whole the whole thing about slime is basically it's a thing that people upload videos of to satisfy you, or with the noise, yes. or just. And I know it's like popping bubble wrap. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is, and it's also like a stress relief too. I don't know how or why, but Except it really is. is more noisy. It depends on the type of person, but most people seem to really like it, and that does include myself. So I'm very excited to finally get these open, and I will show you guys and. Since I'm kind of a slime expert, I hope to make a good video as well. <laughs> so the first slimes for these is from the Slimery on Etsy. Actually, I think on e that's what they call and themselves. But I think Instagram if you go to too, right? yeah, and I think if you go to search on Etsy, it's actually called Slimery Shop. S L I M E R Y S H O P all together. I believe most people do send instructions and activators with their slime, as everyone here has. Uh, basically, it tells you about slimes. You know, like don't get it on carpets or fabrics and. Um, if your slime is really sticky because the mail in transit or if you play with it too much and it gets really sticky you can use Or you live in a hot human place. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely hot and humid places. Um, they usually send like little borax powder, but she just sent a The activator already made so you don't have to put it in the water So that's what this is and she sent these a little haiju candy, which is my favorite kind of candy ever and these little stickers Oh, those are cute. So she, yeah, she said instructions and everything in case it does get sticky. But basically, this is the slime from her. We have four of them. We have a, I'll show this first, a birthday cake batter slime, oh. which actually is scented. She scented it. I smell it. that. Yeah, it smells like birthday cake. And like I mean, real, really, real cake. like birthday cake. Oh my god. And then we got three floams. I, that's the ones I'm most interested in yes. trying because they're super crunchy. Sounding. These are my. I think these might be my one of my least favorite kinds of slimes. <laughs> I don't know why. I like the butter slimes. Well, you so know much. because you haven't tried it. It's when I like glitter. I love glitter slimes. I love clear slimes. So we have three of these. This one's really pretty. We did try to get a nice variety. Yes. Clear, glitter, crunchy, butter. So. <laughs> um, we haven't opened these, so I don't know if they will need activator. Let's I just see. We're all don't. new at this. But I'm gonna start with. The green one. The, I would say, yeah, the green one. Is it scented, I wonder? I think you can, when you order slimes, you can get different scents and stuff like that. Okay, here we go. Some good stuff on the top of it. This is so interesting. So, <laughs> obviously, through the mail, everything sunk to the bottom. That's what happens when you mail it. As every slime we've gotten, all the glitter sinks <laughs> to the bottom. 
Probably but, a fun thing is like smooshing it up in there together. Yeah, that's what that's I, I mean I've seen so many of these videos, but you're supposed to oh my gosh. Feels, and you're finally doing it. It feels so weird. But most people take it out, but this okay, I'm gonna take it out. I feel like it might be the right consistency? Ew, see it's this, so, this, it's this looks like, gross. It's, it's very sticky. So I'm sure it'll need some activator, which I can do really quickly, but you have to get it out of the jar. Look at all that. So oh, it's like yeah. it's like a toxic waste. But hopefully not really toxic. It, it's not. It shouldn't be toxic. It's just like glue. So this totally needs some of that stuff added. It's super, super stringy, but that's totally normal. It's, it's so the humidity of Florida. We're going to fix it right up. Add one fourth of activator you just made and knead it into your, until no longer sticky. Huh. Follow provided measurements. Adding too much solution will make the slime hard. Adding too much Ooh. activator, foam, or fishbowl slime will cause fallout. Ooh. So basically, uh, I need a measuring spoon. I really hope this works because I know it. Our, the floor is really hot, so that's why. It, and humid. Yeah. There you go. But I don't know. I never. I know a lot of people put this in a pan to do it, but I hope that I can just do it through here because I don't want to take this out. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> what? I need to take this out. Yeah. It's like a toxic waste pit. Like if you, this is what I imagine you'd see if you went to like a toxic waste factory. Oh man. I, okay. Yeah. So Zara's gonna help us start this next one here and start go ahead and uh, boraxing it to get it the I right I just wanna say I'm texture. not a fan of slime. No, he actually wasn't even gonna be out here except for he just wanted to see and now we need it's help with borax. So, and I think he's also intrigued, aren't you? You would have used the green one though, not the white sparkly one. Okay, so one. this is starting to come together a bit. It's not obviously, done um I, as someone who's never fixed slime before i'm not sure if i should put more in it but i, I think, think maybe you should but just a little more yeah put it in right there like that yeah don't need to spread it that's another uh fourth teaspoon activator and he i just put a fourth teaspoon activator on that one there <laughs> it says the more humid areas you live in, the more sticky it's going to be. And that after you play with it a while, it could be like that. Can you hold it? The container for me. It's already Yeah, satisfied. he's having an issue. He doesn't really want to get his hands dirty enough to fix this. Yeah, well, they are dirty. I and mean, I was trying to say, you have to really, 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 really get your hands dirty in there and like smush, like just work it in there like dough, man. And then hers, we put the other activator and it's doing so much better. Still sticky though. I'm going to need a little more. I wouldn't put a whole nother spoon, just a little. Yeah. A few well. drops. <laughs> it's like snot. This is how much of the bottle we have left. See it down there? And um, we did two and a half spoons in each one so far. Hopefully the birthday cake one will be perfect. So it's looking pretty darn good now. That's what two and a f two of the one fourth it's teaspoons. If, it's, if it is sticky like this and you don't have borax, then just don't hold it in your hands. It's, it's probably also going to get hard to um, keep it good out here because it's very humid out here. I usually I'll use it in the house. Room. Okay, fine. But basically, my hands are a mess, but the slime itself is, as you can see, starting to look like slime. Mine has become very nice. Yours is better than hers for some weird so reason. So you can just like actually take it up now. It's not all slimy. Like if you touch it, Amy. Oh yeah. It's not just gonna. It's not gonna stick on you, really. So weird. See? Ew! It's kind of it, addictive. Is it, is it sticking on you? It is so addictive. I like the little balls in it. Is it sticking on you though? Ew! No. Well, it's kind of stuck to me, but it's not. The more you touch it and mess with it, the more sticky it's gonna get. That's just because the heat of your hand. So I added like three more little drops to this and it worked amazingly. It's not even sticky and it's not supposed to be like sticky. Like you can actually play with it and it doesn't stick to you. I actually like taking it. I really like the, um, this one has the glitter and the little pink hearts. And uh, I like the little white stuff, the balls in it. And you can like fold it over into itself. Oh, now it's getting a little sticky where I was holding it. Anyway, once you start playing with it more, you'll get the hang of it more. I just, we're out here in the humidity and it obviously is not working with the humidity that I mean, well. Yeah, it's meant to be playing When we have inside, it in the house, so. it'll be fine. All right, so we, we moved inside because I know everyone <laughs> says that humidity, humidity and heat is killer slime. So, it's true. Um, it's so I true. Really, we proved that. That was yeah. what we did on purpose. No. This stuff does not stick. We moved inside and so far this stuff hasn't been it's sticky perfect. at all. So it's even this one that was really sticky. If you live in Florida, don't do it outside. Don't do it outside. Okay. Please don't. Okay. But, um, so these are both perfect now. Yes. And it wasn't the slime's fault. Just so you, I want you guys to know no, that. It was on. the Florida fault that it was so sticky. 
Okay, you guys, we uh, put it on the desk here, Minara's desk. As you can uh, see, it's it looks super. Super perfect. It has, it's clear. And there's holographic little glitter in it. And it has a little, like, styrofoam ball things. Flow. It's called foam. And, okay, foam. So basically, the reason I love slime so much is because the noise it makes, one of the reasons I love it, when you pull your fingers up, I don't know why, but I love that noise. That little noise it makes is so satisfying to me. <laughs> that? Yeah, I don't know why. It's better if you do it in an angle. Watch. I know that. <laughs> and I love it! It's so satisfying! Wait, let me stick my finger in there. Hold on. I love it! Here. I love slime. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's so weird. If you went up to someone and was like, mm, I love slime, you'd be, they'd be like, "What? why do you like slime? But I don't, I don't know why. It's just something so satisfying Listen. about it. Okay, you guys, even all you grown-up people watching this, come on, just go buy a thing of slime. It's a stress relief, too. I don't, I don't know how it is, but it really is. Wait. Oh. I love that noise! <laughs> I like the, the, listen, flums in it. This is why this one sounds different, because it has flum in it, right? Yep. I think that the butter slime has the most satisfying noise. I can't wait to feel I, the butter slime. Well, it feels so soft. She's going to make the borax stuff. And I was just playing with the stuff. So you can hear the noises. You sure there's one cup? One cup of hot water and one container of stuff. Hey, well, this <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun to play with. Kind of? I said, hey, I'll come in here. I said, I could come in here and uh, just stick my finger in the slime every now and then. It's a stress reliever. It really is. It makes you happy. Here, Marshmallow. I like the crunchies. So you can just leave it in the container and just stick your finger yep. in it. We have to save this activator, by the way. You can't just throw it away after you know we use it. Just dissolve the entire packet. Yeah. So the direction says um, these are directions from someone else, right? Yeah. There's other people we got the slime from. We'll show you. They gave us the packets, and it says dissolve one packet into one cup of warm water, which is what we have here. Or water, but we did warm water. We still have, uh, from the slimery, we I'm, have a pink glitter slime. I'm actually gonna try to activate that real quick. Yeah, and then of course we did, and these aren't scented. The one I'm most excited for. I am. Oh, it I smells believe it's like butter cake. slime, I my favorite it. slime. It makes me wanna eat it. It smells like birthday cake. One of my favorite things about, the I, I wouldn't call it the slime community, I'm just gonna call it that, um, is how creative people get. They, You would be surprised the kind of creativity they have making it's true. slime. Like, they even take slime and made like, someone made like a unicorn frappuccino from Starbucks. Oh my god. They gosh. took a Starbucks cup and they put the pink and the blue and oh the pink gosh. slime in there with the little whipped cream on top and everything. It was really cool. It's true. I saw that when I was looking on Etsy. I'm like, look at all these really different creative. kinds of slimes. Yeah. And I think that's really cool. So this is the first time we're doing this one. This one is super gooey. Extremely. Ew, that's so cool looking. So I'm just going to activate this real yeah, quick. Yeah, just do it. Just make a mess. Go on. Go for it. It's probably some people's favorite part. Not mine. And got Zarius. Ugh. Wow. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get all the glitter out of here because that's my favorite part. I found on the other one that when you make it uh, more like it's supposed to be and then you put it back in the container, is ours idea. It, it actually kind of it. sticks to the glitter, yeah. All right. You, you wanna put the activator on it? Yes. This is such an interesting thing too with the activator and stuff. Here we I go. Love it. Our first splash. fourth teaspoon. It should be much better now that we're in air conditioning. Seventy you can degrees. Already tell. Look at that. It's already getting way more firm. Um, with only one fourth, like the last one, it's already way yeah. better. I think we should definitely need another one in there, well, though. Yeah. I'm waiting for Is it dissolved yet? Almost. Look how pretty this is. With the stars and stuff in it. Ah, oh, this is so cool. And you can sit there and play with it. 
Every time Menard goes, I'm like, I'm gonna play with this. I know. Huh. <laughs> I can find myself just, you know, playing with it. It's addicting. It's really cool. The way people do slime is they literally just poke it like this. And once it doesn't poke, poked, they fold it over. So basically, you have Brand new slime. Just do this for like an hour. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna poke it real quick, and then you and then you're like, oh, maybe I'll just poke it a little more, and then then you're just doomed. It's kind of addictive, isn't it? Kind of. <laughs> it's extremely I don't, addictive. I don't like those kinds. I would prefer this kind. We're gonna try the butter slime next. My favorite. The containers are actually really nice too. All right, so here is the last slime we have from the slimery. Which is my, the one I'm most excited about, which is, I believe it's butter, right? A cake batter butter slime, which really smells like cake batter. I it mean, I, so good. I, have never, I had no idea it smelled so good. It was just, oh gosh, <sighs> it smells so good. So, this one should be okay. Oh, it looks so cool. So cool. Oh. Oh my god. I love butter slime. Wow, that looks so fun. It's like, it, it might need one tablespoon, one teaspoon of activator. One but, fourth teaspoon? Yeah. But butter slime shouldn't get as slimy as... And I'm going to let my dog slime. in your room. <laughs> okay, so we're going to uh, go ahead and add it to it while it's in the container this time because it's really sticky inside the container. And she's just going to kind of mix it up a Oops. bit like that. Hopefully it works. Oh, hey, yeah. we're all newbies here on the slime world. I mean, she knew about it and stuff. I knew nothing. But we haven't actually handled I know the slime quite a before. Lot. From seeing it. That's so what these videos are helping you guys with, right? Do you want to try slime or your kids want to try slime? We'll see this video and be helped. Okay, here Ooh, we go. There we go. See how much better that works. Thank you. You're welcome, Mom. You Thank you, off. Mom. You're welcome. Thank you, Mom. Oh right. my gosh, that smell. It's like someone's it's so took good. some Betty Crocker cake mix and oh is using a blender right now and the smell's coming out of it. Ah. Oh. I want to get all this out of here. Smell, man. It smells so good. Oh my god. It's so soft. It feels so That's what I'm soft. That's why my butter slime is like my favorite thing. It's like playing with frosting. It's like, but it's a little more like gritty, a teeny more, but not. Oh, no, this is the only gritty because it's cake. The normal butter slime oh. isn't gritty. Oh, that feels so cool. Right, yeah, just tiny bit more black. So now my fingers smell it. really good. It smell. I can't. I wish there was like a scent sender through the internet. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> all right, one second. I'm gonna. You gotta be really, you gotta really need it like dough. I, because if not, it's not gonna spread everywhere. Yeah, and it's easier without the foamy things in it. It is. And also, we just add like one more teeny drop, literally from the dropper at a time. There you go. Oh my god, I love butter slime so much. I never had any before, but I knew I loved it when I saw the videos of it. I like soft. What kind of sound does that make? Is that all you do with it? Just play with it like that? And then, if you want to, since it's butter slime. A lot of people like butter slime because of the way it spreads. And, um, so a lot of people use butter knives to spread it. So, really? I think people, I think if I remember, actually what people do is they'll take the slime and they'll do like a little swirl or something like that. I can't. One I'm second. thinking it might still be too, you know, sticky. A teeny, maybe not. There you go. Yeah, I've seen them do that on videos. Yeah. Well, that's a horrible swirl, but you get the point. Yeah. And they'll they'll take the knife, and they'll I don't know why they do this, but they just spread it. It's just something it's they like to do. It's satisfying though. Yeah, it's look like, at that. It's like spreading frosting, but you don't get to eat it. And there's no calories involved. It's not supposed to stick. <laughs> I think it's a teeny I, I could, yeah, no, still. I'll put a little bit more. You guys can us. work with it if you get some. Just, you can always add more, but if you have too much, it'll be bad. So make sure that when you add, when you're adding borax to it, your solution, that you add a little bit at a time. Here's her information, you guys. Once again, she was on Etsy. These are very inexpensive. We actually just made a little video. It sounded so cool, man. Like it was just like all the other videos on there. Um, there it is at the S L A M three R Y 
She has over 40,000 followers. Yeah. It's really cool. And She's there's the nice Etsy account. shop, Slimery Shop. And honest review honest here. Review. And as someone who is, I have never owned a slime, but I've seen enough of it to give it a good review. And, and I know what to look for. And this is our very um, first slime experience. Yes. And Her instructions were good, obviously. The containers are really nice containers, so these will keep it from drying out. The slime itself was very nice. Uh, it did need an activator, of course, as I think every slime you'll get in the mail well. Plus we're in Florida. But um, the activator worked very well, and now these are the perfect consistency. They don't they don't fall out. This stuff doesn't fall. I know a lot of people will, sometimes will. So these don't fall out. The colors are nice. Her slimes are very creative and visually appealing. Yes. They I don't like stain your fingers. The ones that are scented obviously smell delicious. Oh, yeah. So, she even uh, likes to stick her fingers I'm, in there and then smell them. <laughs> Ew. That's gross. It's so true, though. But it's so true. It makes your fingers smell like <laughs> cake batter. Um, anyways, all in all, I actually would say that her slimes are perfect. Yeah. Really I mean, perfect. There's nothing wrong with them at all. And I actually am going to go back to her shop and see if there's anything else I want. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so yeah, thank you so much, and, and anyone who's interested, go check her out. Oh yeah, we'll put a link below in the description, guys. Bye. Bye.